Welcome everyone, this is my January update on my roster, so about three months ago in October, I went over my roster and I talked about some of the st goals that I wanted to accomplish. <clears throat> One of the goals I wanted to accomplish was finish Gear 13, the Padme team, to 7 Star and Gear 13 Malik, and to get my General Grievous team done. Um, I got all of those done. And if you go back and look at my previous video, you will see that the squads are in a different order. And in they, they look more filled out. You can see the clones there are getting finished off. The bounty hunters are getting finished off. G, I'm going to come back to Geos after I finish Gear 13 bounty hunters. I'm Gear 13 bounty hunters. I'm not putting a ton of relics on them. And then I'm going to be Gear 13 my four 501st clones. I think I'm going to take Shakti to gear 12, but then I'm going to take Spy to gear 13, and I'm going to probably try to put a, uh, at least a couple additional pieces on Sunfac and Soldier as they are pilots. So it's just kind of, at this moment, I am rounding out my Dark Side uh, Genosis TV teams. One of the notable things I did do from last month, not notable, but I finished off uh, original Kylo Ren, took him to gear 12. And I kind of finished up some of the Zetas and gear. As you can see, I have the six. I have my again. I have my sixteen teams, and they just they look more well rounded than they did three months ago. So that's basically what I've been doing, is hitting gear pretty hard. So if we come back here to the roster, you can see I did unlock General Skywalker. I'm farming Rose and T Rose Tico and Vandor Chewbacca, for well Rose for you know, resistance tag implications, and Vandor Chewbacca because he's probably going to be needed somewhere for something. So one thing I didn't really touch on last update was ships. I'm going to touch on fleet a little bit in this one. So right now I'm farming Kylo Ren's node for shard shop currency because I don't really have any characters, relics I want to push up or even can push up. Uh, for example, I'll just kind of show you, if we go in here to Malik, you can see that I don't have enough of these. Um, I don't have enough to actually craft or, uh, uh, what's it called, Com compress these into the electrium conductors because I have a lot more uh, gear 12 gear to put on people. I showed you on my clones as well. They're all gear 12. They all need extra pieces. <laughs> so I don't really have the ability to turn those pieces into relics at the moment. So instead of farming signal data, I won't use. I have some laying around, but not a lot. So instead of farming signal data, I won't use. I am farming shard shop currency that I am using for said gear 12 gear. General Skywalker is a passive project. I have no real intentions of gearing him or expediting his gear because the Kyrotex he requires to go up a gear level are consumed by the characters I'm bounty hunters and clones I'm taking to gear 13. I do have a Zeta I do have a Zeta saved. I don't have a I don't have a mandatory Zeta to put on, and you can argue the General Skywalker, but he's gear eight. And I don't know when he'll be gear eleven, and I don't know when he'll be seven stars, if ever. So that's not really a huge priority of mine. So, where do I go from here? Well, that's kind of where I'm a, a bit irritated with the game in general. And I won't spend the whole time complaining about what's wrong with the game. But at this point in the game, I'm basically just building progression. I'm gearing characters, and I don't have a lot left to farm that I need to farm. If you go down here at the bottom, you'll see the three characters that just came out aren't farmable. So if they aren't farmable, I don't really have any of the new fancy stuff to like try and refresh quickly. So I put oh, I put a fair amount of thought into where I wanted to go from here. And it, it took me a couple weeks of thinking. I mean, obviously, I wasn't just sitting there pondering nonstop. It was the holidays. So it took me a while to kind of, like, formulate a plan. So my plan is to, f once again, finish up Darkside GOTB, 
and then slowly work towards light side GOTB, but at the same time I want to continue building out the middle of my roster because I still have some stuff I want to finish here. Uh, like First Order Executioner, I, I would like Gear 12, and there's a bunch of other characters like that. So I'm trying to stay away from being top-heavy because I mentioned in my last video that my, my first goal was to relic my meta defense, Darth Revan. Uh, my second goal was to relic, or my CD Hebrew is not relic, so whatever. It was to relic my meta counter. And that was CLS. Well, Padme actually doubles as a General Skywalker slash Darth Revan counter. So I ended up taking her to taking her to relics, also because three of the characters on her team are part of the Negotiator fleet. So again, that team kind of pulled double duty for me, similar to the CLS team, where they have a wide range of things they can beat, and I use them in a, and I use them in arena as part of my ability to climb. So not a whole lot is probably going to change in three months outside of, you know, these aforementioned characters here at the top will be farmable, and we will probably have more things to farm that won't be farmable. So I'll just kind of talk about what I've been up to, and that is I've been hitting mods still pretty hard, not quite as hard as I was up leading up to the last video because I've been using crystals to help expedite Kyrotex and other gear. So I've been basically trying to slice as many mods as I can. You can kind of see, like, if we hit the mods button here, you'll see a significant portion of, like, 6E purple and gold. I've been trying to basically slice all of the blue mods I care about, and I've been lacking on slicing arrows because I sort by speed secondary and I'm lazy and forget. So I still have some more, I still have a bunch more slicing to do, and I have a bunch more mods that I want to slice. So that's kind of what I've been up to, not really farming too much, too many mods. I mean, I'm still farming here and there. Uh, one, one, one thing we can. One, one, one thing that I'm kind of happy about is where a lot of my, I don't want to call them sub-meta teams, but a lot of my old meta teams are at. Um, finally having all those teams done-ish done feels good. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say done, but like, we'll go to the squad here and I'll kind of like explain. Having Dooku Gear 11, so at least functions on a Treya team in 5v5 if necessary. Jedi Revan obviously has, uh, well... In, in this has Juhani. My bounty hunters are getting worked up also because uh, I'm doing it for charity art. Reality Skewed Gamers, I put my name in to Gear 13 of Faction for charity. Bounty hunters was picked and the donation was filled. So, going to Gear 13 them and then take some video of me getting my shit pushed in in arena and in territory battles. So that should be interesting. Um... We'll kind of see how that plays itself out. Only have a few left to go there. But I don't really have any more work to do on a lot of these teams unless it's just taking them to Gear 13. I figure the new Finn will replace somebody on the JTR team, if not the entire JTR team. So not a lot has changed here on the bottom end, don't get me wrong. But I am happy kind of with where my account is at at the moment. I Like I said, I obviously have characters I want to gear more, but... Basically, if we come down here to Separatist, you can see that I have pretty much everyone. everyone's Gear 11 or better. And Droid could have Gear 12, obviously. Dooku had Newt. Dooku to Gear 12 for sure. Newt might go to Gear 12 soon. Like, I obviously have projects that I want that, that are on my roster. But basically, my projects are taking characters prioritizing taking characters to gear 13 and not necessarily relics. Relics hurt me in Grand Arena Championships because I am basically just getting, I don't want to say bodied, but three, three, I'm getting, you know, opponents with f 500 and in one case, um, um, a little under a million more in character GP than myself. And I figure since I'm getting absolute, I'm getting... Matched up against people that are much, much higher than myself, I have decided to start working on the bottom half of my top 80. 
or even, you know, the 80, 81 through 100. And I think I talked about that a little bit in the last one, but I'm kind of recommitting to that because I am tired of fighting people with, like, my last my last 3v3 opponent had 40 more gear 12s than I did, and or 40 more gear 12 or better characters than me, and 24 more Zetas, and I'm just kind of over that. I, it's very frustrating, and I don't want to have to deal with it. So, that that's kind of where I'm at. And in the next three months, I basically just want to take as many of these characters to gear 12, gear 12 that aren't gear 12, and I want to gear 13 to clones and the bounty hunters and spy. So, it's kind of a short list, if I'm being completely honest. I don't have a lot of goals for the next three months outside of finding more outside of continuing to find more reasons to play the game. And again, I'm not going to turn this into a giant bitch fest, but I feel like CG has given me more and more reasons to not play the game as it goes on. Uh, if you want to see, these are the projects that I have. I kind of put these together for the, a little bit for the current course of this video. But I do, event, I do want to actually gear my bays up a little bit. And I want to gear... Uh, that, that bottom row I want to gear up, but that's like a personal thing I want to gear up a little bit. Um, old, so Lando Calrissian I want to gear up, and he's kind of just there because I like his kit, and I kind of just want to gear 13 him. He also works great in uh, great with uh, Han and Chewie as a leader. So he's an alternative leader for CLS now that my CLS is relic my CLS can now solo or, you know, two men, some geared 11 teams or whatever. Not that I see a lot of them, but it's just another project I want to do because I like his kit. I like the character and I have Luke, Han, and Chewie, but not Lando. So that obviously some of these are on the more on the back burner than others. Don't get me wrong. But I, I do have aspirations for what, what I want to do. And we'll see how much of this stuff down, this stuff on this list gets done. Uh, since I'm here, we'll uh, actually rename this uh, Jan 2020. And I will create a new tab afterwards. So in three months, we'll see how many of these characters I actually worked on. So that's kind of where I'm at with characters. Now, again, I wanted to talk a little bit about ships this time. So... We we don't have we don't have ship loadouts, which is a thing that I would actually like at this point. But you see, my rebel fleet's done. Obviously, I've uh, had the Millennium Falcon meta for quite some time, and then the Galactic Republic. There's obviously a few holes here. Um, I want to work on uh, the bomber. Uh, yeah, it's in my favorites here. <clears throat> I did end up buying the fourth star for that. I kind of regret it a little. Not a ton, I guess. I thought it actually... I, I, I paid the 20 bucks for the extra star because there was no pilot, and I figured it would be more usable at four stars, but it is not. That was not the case. So, as you kind of go down, I'm, I'm, I'm also passively working on the First Order fleet. That's another thing I've been doing. I got all the ships to seven stars. Um, at some point, I'm going to gear up the pilot here if I can find space and space to do it. As I was saying, this is I, the the biggest hole is uh, the Y wing. They did actually give us a nice bu uh, a little buff to the Geonosians, which is the other reason why I kind of want to uh, gear them up a little bit more because now they are more of a real fleet, and when paired with um, the droids, they actually form a fairly formidable fleet. I have both the, the Negotiator and the Malevolence unlocked, and I'm basically hoarding at this point to figure out which one the Seven Star first. I'm leaning Malevolence because of Dark Side TB, but there's a bug that doesn't allow you to use the Malevolence in Dark Side TB at six and seven stars. So I'm basically just hoarding to see if they fix that, and if they do, I plan on eventually probably taking the malevolence to seven stars first because i don't think it matters too much i'm able to do okay versus the seven star negotiators in my shard 
So as far as fleet goes, like I said, I'm working on the uh, I'm working on the separatist fleet, and passively working on the first order fleet. I would say I'm working on the resistance fleet, but that just doesn't exist. So I have not been working on it. Um, Pose Gear Eleven resistance pilots, some non relevant gear, and uh, at least seven stars. So I guess the last thing to kind of touch on is. When I started playing this game, one of the biggest things I wanted to do was unlock everything. Because I'm competitive, but I'm also a collector. So, I really have everything but Cam at this point. But, since I start, when I started playing, 7-starring everything never really crossed my mind. Because it was such a daunting task. Now that I'm here... I mean, granted, a lot of it's get one character. We can. That's a different argument. That that's a different rant for a different time. But now you can see that I'm almost done. I'm finishing up Jawa Engineer, and I'm fin I'm even I'm even buying Demorian Guard from the from the raid store, just to get everything to seven stars. If we come over here to ships, that's the other reason I'm working on the Gauntlet. I don't have very many ships left either. As you can see, I don't, I, now that the, now that the end is in sight, I kind of want to seven star everything in the game. I think it, well, everything I can reasonably seven star. I think it, I think it's a cool aspiration to kind of try and go towards. So that, that's my long-term goal for next year is hopefully seven star everything I can. And I know there wasn't a lot that I even talked about in this video outside of like, doing the doing like three things so i hope you enjoyed it and i won't waste your time any longer